Hi, this is Joni here with a Wish App haul. Um, I got a few things in the mail today, and these are things I've kind of collected over the past few weeks. Um, things that I order kind of come in in drips and drabs, and so I wait until I have a fair amount of stuff to um, do a video and show you what I have. So. I think I showed you these before in a haul that I got these for my grandchildren for stocking stuffers. But now, um, I thought they were a little too juvenile to give to my older children, you know, who are in their 30s. So I picked up, um, they're really the same, maybe just a little bit larger. Um, but more adult looking. So I got two of these for um, my daughters and I thought they're kind of handy. Um, they have three pockets. The zippers work well and you know there's a um, wristlet piece in here tucked away and you just attach it and could be handy when you're going shopping you could put your phone in here and your money and your credit cards and just a few things that you need when you go shopping without having to carry around that big load on your shoulder so um, that was one of the things I got uh, from one of my granddaughters I got the these um, their eggs they're six that come in a pack they're a dollar plus as you know with the wish app it's a dollar shipping for each item sometimes more depending on the weight of the item but um my granddaughter got one of those um you know those i don't know the name of it but it's that egg that um there's like a stuffed animal in the egg and it pecks away at the shell and then the shell breaks open and then there's a little, um, I think it's a dinosaur maybe that's born and it makes noises and for this noise you have to do that, maybe feed it or burp it or change the diaper or, but um, that's the new craze right now. Fortunately, my granddaughter wanted it for her birthday, which was back in October and we bought it then. Now I hear um, the price was originally $50 and um now people are buying them out of the stores and selling them on eBay for like 150 and 200 dollars. And I remember um, years ago when my kids were little, there was a craze with Tickle Me Elmo one year. Another year it was um, the Furby doll. It was the same kind of thing. People were buying them out of the stores and then selling them you know, um, on the streets or on the internet for three times the price. <clears throat> but anyway, going back to these eggs, um, these eggs, you put in the egg in a glass of water and the shell eventually um, cracks open and there's a little dinosaur inside and then the dinosaur grows in the water. So I thought, being she liked that other egg, um, item that she might like this. So this is a stocking stuffer for um, my eight-year-old granddaughter. Uh, another thing I got was um, this is a corner rounder. You know, if you're into, into crafting, you, well, I didn't open it, but you press this, um, you put the paper, the corner of the paper there, and it rounds the edge of the piece of paper. Um, it doesn't it just cuts the very edge into a small rounded corner not like a you know a real big rounded corner just the very corner it takes the edge off of it um i think this was three dollars totally worth the price you'll never find one for under five dollars and really a good one could cost ten and twenty dollars so um, this was a good purchase. I'm trying to stock her up. This is my 10 year old granddaughter. I'm trying to stock her up with her own craft supplies because she's been taking an interest in it with me lately. I got a great place to get um, dyes 
for die cuts and um, even stamps um, at a real reasonable prices is on the Wish app. Um, this one was a dollar and the reason that I bought it was because I liked this bicycle. But it has a bird cage here, it has a park bench. Um, the sentiment says life is a journey. This is a, a little rimmed hat. So um, this was a dollar and um, generally their stamps work pretty well. So um, when I see something I like on there, I, I order it. I ordered this on there, which I thought would be good. I haven't tried it yet, but this was also a dollar. And you, uh, this would be good for the mini happy planner because they're kind of small, these squares. These are page flags here, these two. Um, these two here, sorry. And then there are squares and some of them, the edges, you can't really see it, but they um, give the appearance of being like stitched, like sewn. Um, there's little, um, I don't know what you would call them, little circles here that you would stamp on your planner. Um, one is, a, there's a car, so that might be your indicator for you got to fill your car up with gas or service your car. Um, there's other ones like this, arrows. There is um, an exclamation point, an at sign, the A kind of with the circle around it. There, um, things like that. And then there's these bigger circles that you could circle around that. So, um, and then a larger, thinner flag down here. So I thought this was worth it, especially if you're into um, planners. And I got this one. I've already used this top stamp, so it's not in here, but it said, um, uh, Merry Christmas. And it, that's a beautiful stamp with some nice, um, really dark black ink, like stays on ink, um, real crisp, um, lines. But so I got this for Christmas and this is also good in the, um, mini happy planner because they're small. Um, there's at the bottom there's very small things like a present, a stocking, a Christmas tree. Um, there's a snowman there and um, just some squiggly lines here. Just nice ways to decorate your planner and then you can use the sentiment for your Christmas cards which is what I've been using that for. And I got um, this. I was really um, excited to get this because it's it, it's a char it's you know the plug to charge three devices. But I was disappointed because I have an iPhone and um, as soon as you plug it in, it says that. Um, you know, it will not function with this device. So um, with the iPhones, you really have to buy the Apple products. I have other things that I plug in here, like a Kindle, um, um, you know, anything that's not Apple. Um, my son has an e-cigarette. He puts that charger in there and it's just not the Apple products. Um, I don't know if maybe an Android phone would work. They, you know, you don't seem to need to buy their product to work with their product, but um, this will not work on any of the Apple products. So um, I was a little disappointed. Also, another thing is um, the charging cords will not work on iPhones either, or iPads, or iPods, or anything Apple. Um, but it, it does work on other things, you know, that are not Apple products. I got, um, for my granddaughter, I got some makeup brushes. There are five brushes here, and they're held in this nice little tin um, container, which is real handy. I think she's going to love this. 
and I got an eyebrow pencil. Now, I thought this was a repurchase. It actually wasn't because it's a different brand. I had bought this eyebrow pencil and I loved the eyebrow pencil, but the color was a little too dark for me. So I went back on the Wish app and I looked for a lighter brown and I found this color. Um, and I like this color much better. Um, and in terms of this product, this pencil has an eyebrow brush on this end, which is real handy, um, you know, to brush the color through your eyebrows. So I like this one better than the other one that I had bought. And um, let me see if I can tell you the name of it, who makes it. It's called Drawing Eyebrow, and it's made by MCC Holic. And um, I just like it. This color uh, is 02, it says, but it just matched. It was a little lighter brown than the other product I had bought. It comes in a box that looks like this, the MCC Holic. And um, so that was a good purchase. There's a lot of product on it. It retracts. You don't need to sharpen it. Um, I liked that one a lot. I had um, purchased this also. This is a, well, let me start by saying I had purchased this. It's a highlighter for your cheeks. And it gives you like a silvery kind of a sparkly look. So um, my granddaughter is a little bit darker skin than me. I'm real fair skin. So I thought, um, let me try this. I thought this might work better on her but there's no sparkle on it so like I would use this I wouldn't consider this to be a highlighter I would consider this to be more for um, what do you call it when you're oh I can't think of the word um, not a highlighter but when you want to put a darker color like underneath um, like sculpt kind of sculpting your face you, you put you put the darker color underneath and as a blush but it's definitely not a highlighter and it says it is it's made by the same company as the first one which is called bling but I like my first purchase much better and I probably will give this to my granddaughter um, the last thing that I bought is this blanket it's one of the mermaid blankets it is humongous it's very hard to pick out a size this is for my 10 year old granddaughter and it's very large um, it will go up to her neck and then some so um, it says it was advertised as four dollars but it wasn't it was more like 20 between um, shipping and then when I ordered her size that size cost more so um, that's what they're going for that's what I paid and I was happy with it it came quick I have two more on order from my other two granddaughters and um, that's the craze now with the kids. So um, that's all I have for you here today. If you liked my video, um, give me a thumbs up, please. And um, subscribe if you like my channel. And comment. Um, Till next time, bye.